Here was some of the scuttlebutt we were hearing at the end of the trading day today that uh, some are hoping to see sooner rather than later that the Federal Reserve isn't only inclined now to start cutting interest rates as soon as the September meeting, but some are thinking even sooner, uh, a cut before a meeting. That would be very, very unusual. I want to talk to Peter Tuckman about that, New York Stock Exchange tradings at the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, Peter, how did we go from watch inflation, uh, Federal Reserve, to watch what you're doing because we're now in a recession, Federal Reserve? How did we do a 180? You know what? Uh, look, as we do remember, you and I talked on Friday whether they were catastrophizing the situation. I think we need to really address the fact that this perfect storm really has been circling uh, and marinating all weekend long. So we obviously had the Fed that did not give a lot of clarity on Wednesday about when that cut was going to be, whether it was September. Then we had Friday's economic data that came out, which showed a boost in unemployment. That was not good. Then we had a weekend full of, of, of fear mongering around the Middle East and around attacking Israel, and then you had the Japanese market go down the largest amount since 1987, and all of that together added to this crazy fear thing. We saw the VIX spike up above 65 today, which showed fear, as, the, as, your, as your prior speaker said, not, not panic, but fear. And so I don't think this is much a reflection on the economy as much of a perfect storm around all these components that are happening in the market. You know, fundamentally, nothing that much has changed economically since 10 days ago when we were trading at record highs across the board and no one and everyone was saying there's never another down day on Wall Street. Nothing fundamentally has changed. Okay, a couple of components have, but when they're all the market can handle virtually anything when it is fed it one or two things at a time. But when you've got a weekend plus this storm plus the, the Japanese stock market uh, uh, crashing, basically, I think that's what caused today's uh, sell off. Yeah, the question is whether it's an overextension or overdone. This VIX you refer to, this volatility index, it changes, trades on the Chicago Board Exchange. And uh, that has tripled just since Thursday, a sign of the panic that's ensued on Wall Street. Do you think uh, it, it is justified, though? Because the employment report, to your point, it did show jobs gaining, just not as much as thought. The unemployment Correct. rate did go up fourth month in a row to 4.3%. That is still a relatively stable unemployment rate, but I guess fears have gotten ahead of just stepping back and looking at the big picture. I, I don't think it's as justified. We've watched this market climb in a really responsible fashion, right? We had some short pullbacks along the way, like April and May and June were solid months. So this is not, it doesn't feel bubblish at all. It just feels like when, when you reverse in a market that's pretty frothy, even from a technical standpoint, you're going to see uh, wow. people sell the market. I think today's sell-off was a lot of retail. Look, the big players are not selling into this uh, sell-off. God, people institutions and hedge funds are not really, you know, rotating out of equities in all their tech positions. You know, a lot of this, that panic feeling is a big, you have to realize that the, the retail uh, investment community has quadrupled, if not 10x, over the last couple of years. So that's a whole nother, those are the people who tend to panic and yeah. live with the fear mode when their profits look like they've been chipped away after the last two weeks. All right. You know, we were just showing, as you were speaking, Peter, some of these uh, fall offs in some of the big tech names like Apple and Amazon and all of that. That 6 percent, 4 percent, whatever you're seeing across the board was today. That was today. The airline drop that you see, 4 percent for Delta and United and, and Southwest. That is today. That is one day. You don't always see that. And that begged a question that I had, uh, Peter Tuckman, with with Robert Prechter, the socioeconomic watcher, he called the 87 crash, the comeback since. He's saying that the people's nerves and anxieties are getting the best of them. And I, I just want you to respond to this because he said this is going to be an opportunity uh, that the Federal Reserve is going to realize it missed last week. Take, take a look at that. Okay. So the Federal Reserve had a wonderful opportunity last Wednesday to lower their Fed funds rate by a quarter point, and they didn't take it. I think that was a big mistake. I think there's going to be a surprise rate cut uh, before the September meeting because I think rates have started to really? fall even That's faster. You what know, do you think I, of that? I, 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 you know. Uh, 
I, you know what? Look, I think we missed an opportunity. I agree. But at the time, it didn't yeah. feel that way because we did get those right. numbers on Friday. If we had gotten those numbers on Friday after the cut, we would have looked like that we were flip-flopping and that we had known that we were that the numbers True. were going to be uh, dis disappointing. Now, I agree. We may look if this sell-off continues. We may have an emergency meeting of the Fed. We may have a, an emergency cut, whether it's 50, 60 basis point. That may happen if this erosion of the market it continues for another couple of days. But it was said this morning uh, by one of the Fed uh, presidents that we are not going to adjust our strategy based on one month's economic data. So they don't want to look like they're being bullied by the market. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think we yeah. have to let this thing on. Uh, this thing needs to marinate for a little bit and unwind. I think the next couple of days will be very telling. Are they going to react or overreact? But I agree with you. We may have missed an opportunity. Uh, on Wednesday to cut it a quarter of a point. And if that's the case, we may end up having to play catch up and end up doing a, a, an earlier cut than September and a bigger one than they expected. That's a possibility. Yeah, and that, uh, and that could trigger panic in itself. What does the Fed see that we don't see? What do they fear that, that we didn't think they were fearing? <laughs> uh, all, all real dilemmas. Peter, thank you very much, my friend. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.